Hey everybody, welcome back to another Friday morning, early morning live stream as we await a target drop. So here's what we here's what I expect today. So all week long, people have been kind of on high alert for Target to drop some cards because for a little while there, after Target just went all online. They were just selling them on Friday mornings at the same time, usually between anywhere between 6.45 and maybe 8 a.m. That's when they would drop the cards. But then the last two weeks, they they, they switched it up on us. Uh, I think one day was a Thursday. Another day was a, a Wednesday at random times in the, in the early morning when they just dropped the cards. And they still sold out really quickly in less than 30 seconds in some instances to sell over 10, 20,000 blaster boxes. So uh, we could be dealing with a, a bot issue. I'm not sure, but I think that everybody expects cards to drop today. I, I would say that my confidence that cards will drop on Target's website today to be probably about 80% or so uh, because they haven't dropped any all week. So it would make sense that the cards are dropped today. So I think when are you going to see them? I would guess maybe between 6.45 and 7, hopefully they start to drop. Usually they drop them by sport. I believe it's been basketball first, then football, and then baseball. And we have some potential for baseball to be a pretty big drop today. We have a possibility of top series two dropping is probably the most likely because that, that – that's been out now for, what, a week or two? Uh, probably actually two weeks in most places. And that still has not yet dropped uh, anywhere on Target's website. Also, Stadium Club comes out today. We'll have a Stadium Club new release preview video for you guys coming up. of A couple hobby boxes whenever I get my cases in. Thank you, David. Really appreciate that. Thank you, everybody, for joining us, by the way, on this early Friday morning. I just woke up myself not too long ago after going to bed at like one something because I was up sleeving cards and sorting cards for uh, previous breaks. Those team breaks can be killers. But uh, so we have Series 2 that could drop. We have Stadium Club that could drop today. We have some Panini products that could drop today. We have Panini Absolute blaster boxes we haven't seen yet on Target's website. And we also have... Uh, Panini Select, which could drop as well. So those are two additional possibilities for baseball. And beyond that, we might see a re-upload of Bowman Blasters and also Bowman Megas. So there's a good chance that we see some stuff dropped, especially for baseball. I think baseball is the most likely to get dropped today. Larry, how's it going? Uh, so while we're waiting for this, there's we're going to break some cards. We have a jumbo case of Series 2. It's a random divisional break. It's a five box. We do have, I think, two spots open for this if anybody wants them. I've got Jeffrey, Richard, Jack, and Michael is paid. And then we've got two spots open for the last two divisions. Uh, if anybody wants them, you can send over the money and we'll randomize you up and get the break started. But uh, the randomized break is 204. Andy says, okay, I'll take one. All right, Andy, uh, go ahead and send over right now and uh, give yourself your discount for being the, one of the top guys on that top tier. That's 204 plus your discount, so subtract uh, like 21 bucks. So 204 minus 21 is uh, what, like 183 for a spot. MCB's here, says, good morning, Eric. No sleep for the wicked. Been up all night. Hope you got a little sleep. I got some sleep. I, I probably got about five hours or so. In the meantime, for those of you at home waiting for this break to start and waiting for the drop, uh, we'll try to get those links for you. I've got my, I've got the live stream up just in case, um, you know, I don't know if we have our mods here yet. Jeff Becker is usually on top of all this stuff. He's He, he gets the links before anybody. Uh, if he's here, hopefully he can drop them. If not, I'll try to get them in the live chat as well. I've got them. Uh, I've got the live chat up. And I'm also watching Target's website. Um, so I, you should have trading. I have trading cards searched right now. And if you're doing this at home, you want to make sure that you click sold by target on the left hand side. This, everyone's going to get used to this. 
Um, you do this enough weeks. And also at the bottom, you want to filter where it says include out of stock as well. And I'm seeing that there is some cards on there right now. I see Sage, which is always available. I guess NFL Sage is probably the equivalent of like uh, Topps Bunt or something like that. Remember Topps Bunt? It was not a very popular one, but that's been sitting there for like, what, a week or two now? There's also hockey available, it looks like. Um, as well, it's not sold out. But I'm not seeing any baseball yet, so... If you guys see any baseball, let us know. Bufus, hey man, uh, everything from the $51 tier is in the mail. You should have received a, um, you should have received something from Stamps. So check your email that's associated with your PayPal and Stamps. We'll send you that email automatically. I see Andy paid for the I got your stadium club payment for two boxes and I also got your um payment for this so we got one spot open now for this Andy thank you very much we'll randomize it up here in a second Redskins fan says there are already people selling blasters of stadium club they have them in hand yeah some Walmarts put out their stuff ahead of time which is great if uh you know, you're, you're a collector, you can get a sneak peek of it, but also great if you're a flipper. I don't know how much those Stadium Club Blasters are going to go for over. Um, MTB says, what is the last break? It's a hit-only break. Um, you want to take the last spot? It's a five-box hit-only break of Jumbo. And the way it works is, basically, it's no base except for the top six rookie cards. So I'll send you all inserts, all autographs, all relics, all parallels, and all the top rookies, which I have classified as Key Brian Hayes, Alex Kirloff, Jazz Chisholm, um, Trevor Rogers, Jake Cronenworth, and um, who's the last guy? Garrett Crochet. It's 204 MCB. <coughs> 204. Thank you very much, man. Really appreciate that. We'll get this break rolling here in a second. Uh, Stadium Club, for those of you asking about that, I'm planning on going live with Stadium Club. We do have quite a few boxes of Stadium Club to get through tonight. Um, I'm planning on hopefully as close to eight as possible. Philip, I sent out all the cards for all the single cards. I think there might be a couple blasters that I still have to get out, but um, you can send me a follow-up email. And if, I, if you don't get a response, because I get hammered with sometimes hundreds of emails a day, just go ahead and keep forwarding it along <clears throat> all right just so checking out target still nothing on target's website and usually it's still a little bit early by target drop standards i wish that they would be more uh, mainstream with the way they do this and say look we're going to drop cards every morning at like 8 a.m. or whatever. That's what they used, used to be like that in the store. You had, when they sold them in stores, they had a nice little setup, a nice little procedure. You were allowed to enter your name in a virtual line beginning at 6 a.m. You could go off and have some breakfast or something like that. And then at 8 a.m., you'd come back, they'd open their doors, and uh, you would just you'd be able to buy your cards. You'd get a little text on your phone, but they're not doing it like that anymore it's just completely random and it i mean i don't know it saves you from time some time i guess from going out and standing around and uh but you have to battle the bots and i guess one other good thing about uh it being online is that you're allowed to get more of it uh before you're only allowed to get i think like one per person or something like that now it's 10 total of 10 uh 10 blasters a lot of times I'll, if you need the target link i'll drop the uh, link that i'm watching right now into the chat that's what i've got going on i've got tr trading cards linked and uh yeah there's nothing coming up yet jeremy says they need to do something about the bots i hate seeing people on social media with mountains of cards yeah i uh i know what you mean <laughs> where they have tons and tons of stuff uh, who knows maybe they have uh, their own special bot working for them but there's definitely something fishy going on if cards are, se are selling out in just a matter of seconds. And I see 5280 has sent over payment, so we're sold out for this one. We'll go ahead and get started here. 
And I'm gonna, I guess I'll hit the lights here. Steven says, when will they drop the hanger boxes? I, I, I don't know. I, I would expect the hanger boxes to drop today along with um, anything else for Series 2. Usually those hanger boxes are um, put in lots of three, so you'd be able to get three hanger boxes for, um, I think it's usually like just like 10 bucks a piece. So 30 bucks for three hanger boxes is a pretty good deal. Brian, how's it going, man? Good to see you. I'm bringing up random.org right now if you're wondering what I'm working on. I'm going to randomize these spots. We've got a total of six people in here. And uh, we're ready to go. So I'm going to move this off. Get this break started up. And hopefully we get some nice super, super short prints today. I'd like to find at least one of those in this case. Bring in the computer. I am plugged in here because I forgot to put my laptop back on the charger last night so here's what we've got we've got these six folks right here jeffrey richard jack michael andy and 5280 i think that these three are pending so i i, I will still run it anyway here we go so down here it says randomize once we hit randomize it's going to put these six names in a different order. We'll copy and paste their names into this document over here. This is just my, my master break one. And then we, they'll either get the AL East, AL Central, AL West, NL East, NL Central, or NL West. Jordan said he pulled the Key Brian Hayes super short print. I saw somebody sell that on eBay for like eight grand or somewhere around there. I don't think it's worth that much. Hey, we got Jeff here, everybody. He says, I'm helping look for online drops until 8 a.m. Jeff, thank you very much for being here. Jeff is pretty much instrumental for these target drops. So uh, make sure you check him out and he'll have you covered for all of the links. And we're hoping that we get some uh, some links. JNA says, thank God Jeff is in here right now. Jordan says, Jeff MVP. Rick, Rick says, I don't know why I'm pending, but I'm good with for it. I think what happens is I think for your three invoices, I put like a whole bunch of like uh, text in there. And sometimes there's certain um, words that will trigger like a, a review from PayPal. I forget what it, what it was the one time. It might have been like a like one stock Xbox break or something like that. And I guess the word Xbox like triggered it. So I don't know. But uh, usually it takes a couple of days and then it it, it uh, releases the funds. But let's go ahead and randomize it and see where you guys fall. And here we go. Bufus is in the house. Says Jabs, thanks for getting up so early for the drops. Bufus, thank you very much. I really appreciate that. Thank you for your support. And I hope you guys will please check him out. Here's what the list came up as. Go ahead and copy and paste these. Bufus has a nice channel over there. You should check him out, everybody. As we randomize these, and this is the order. So it's going to be Richard Duquette. You'll get the American League East. So that's uh, that's good if you like that Mickey Mantle short print or super short, short print. If we pull that one, that one would go to you. Andy McCann, you'll get all the Garrett Crochets and Alex Kirilofs and all the other, you know, all the other hits, autographs, relics, parallels. Um, the AL West goes to Jack. The uh, NL East will go to 5280. The NL Central will go to Jeffrey Chambers. And Michael gets the NL West. Uh, Robert, that's still on the shelf. I'll try to get those out within the next, um, definitely by the end of this month. That's that's the goal. All right, so now that we know what divisions you guys have, I'm going to zoom out of this, and we'll start breaking these and wait for the drops. Jeff's got the link to Bufus Sports Cards. Thanks, Jeff. Appreciate that, man. All right, here we go. All right, time to watch some cards be open while we wait cards being dropped. It's five boxes. We'll start with this one. I'm a big fan of these jumbo boxes. As you probably know by now. The silver packs we'll save for the end of this break. We'll put those up there. On top, we have a 78 Cal Ripken Jr., which I think this card looks gorgeous. Love this card. And a 1970 Kirby Pocket. You get two of those 70 years of Topps cards in every single jumbo box. 
Random card rips is here. Random card rips with a glass of coffee or a cup of coffee, I should say. Thanks, man. Really appreciate that. Trying to trying to wake me up a, a little bit, I guess. Uh, yeah, it is pretty. I think everybody could use a cup of coffee right now, especially if you're, if you're on the West Coast. You got a feel for you guys. It's uh, three thirty-six right now, and you're still up, or you're up this early. All right, here we go. Robert says, I'll buy the Ripken for whoever gets it. Well, the, I can tell you right now, the Ripken is going to be already owned by... Let me find it. And these these hip brakes, I can I can get these sort of much faster and out much faster. That goes to Richard Duquette. So Richard's going to have that Ripken in his next stack. All right, so here's our first pack. Michael says, Wander Franca will be a Topps cash cow for 2022. Yeah, Wander Franco is going to be absolutely um, crazily sought after. All his rookie cards. There's Key Brian Hayes. That counts as a hit. Top rookie cards. Jeff has the link to Random Card Rips. Thanks, Jeff, for drop, dropping that. And thank you, Random Card Rips, for the support. Hope you guys will check him out. Here's all the hits in the middle. We've got a JT Brubaker upside down card of Adam Hazley. Nice low number here out of 50. It's a Father's Day parallel. Out of the 50s, you have the Mother's Day pinks and the Father's Day blues, which are nice. We've got a Xander Bogart, so that's going to be an out of 25 relic. Nice one right there. That one goes to the American League East as well. That one would go in Richard's stack. A nice Xander Bogart's 15 out of 25. The top's print run for the Wander Franco is 61,000 cards. So everybody getting in on that, I... I I did not buy that card because I was worried that there was going to be so many people buying it. So I don't know. Maybe, uh, maybe I made a mistake by not going in on the Wander. Robert says, I'm stuck in traffic on the Homestead High level watching right now live. That's That stinks, man. Those commutes are pretty brutal. I commute uh, around that same area every single day. It's like an, an hour in, an hour back. Bufa says, question, how many of you guys picked up that Wander Franco Tops Now card? I thought about it, but I, I didn't pull the trigger. I'm sure some people may have bought, I, I don't know if they had, did they have a max that you could buy that? I'm sure a lot of people bought multiple cards. Trace said, I just picked up a card. I hope it's not worthless. They did print uh, a lot of it, that's for sure. Scott O says, the rookies in 2021 update. Yeah, you're going to have Andrew Vaughn in there. You're going to have your mean Mercedes in there as well. And uh, Jonathan India is likely going to be in there. Those are three that come to mind right off the top of my head. And uh, I think there might be one other guy that I'm missing. There is a Rio, Rio Ruiz gold foil. But Wander is not going to be in um, Tops update this year. I think he just missed the cut. Jeff McNeil, black border card is a nice one. All insert ship as well. So we got to take those out. Put them in our hit pile. Derek says, Bowman Megas today, or I'm going to have to go to my LCS. I hope the Bowman Megas drop today. Bowman Megas, you can get on Target's website for um, $29.99, which is a much better price than most card stores tend to jack up all of the, the Bowman Megas to like, I don't know, like 40 bucks or so. That's kind of like the... Uh, even probably a little more than that. That's kind of like the going rate for the Megas. I think it's like 45 bucks. They, they like to put them at. <clears throat> it all depends on your LCS, though. But if you can find them in store, they are going to be 30 bucks. That's how much they are at Barnes & Noble. I plan on going out today after this break. Get a shower. Get all ready to go. And see if I can find some cards out there. I'll probably just hit a couple Walmarts. That's it. Just want to uh, maybe do a retail review of maybe some Stadium Club or some some of the new um, Absolute and Select Blasters if they're out there. Scott O says Akil Badu. That's another name. Yeah, Akil Badu should be in update as well. Add him to the list. Stinky says that his LCS sells the Mega Boxes for what? Did you say? 70 bucks, man. That's when you know that your LCS is just a flipper with a storefront. Carrie says, the tops now wanders on eBay for $5.99, free shipping. So there you go. So if you didn't buy the wander, you can get it for, I, I, I didn't even look how much, was it 10 bucks on Topps website? Now it's cheaper than 
tops, possibly. Bufus says, I saw somebody open a blaster box of Stadium Club, and they have Master Photo Minis. Master Photos are from the original Stadium Club's inserts. Yeah, those are pretty awesome. I think um, back in the day, in the 91 Stadium Club, those Master Photos were... Um, they were like box toppers. They were oversized. I used to love those cards. Trevor Rogers counts as a hit as well. We've got to take his cards out and send those on. That'll go to the NL East. And all inserts. Here we go. We've got Anoli Paredes. It's a silver foil card. No autograph yet. Frankie Lindor. Byron Buxton Clemente. Thomas says, don't support your local LCS if they are flipping retail for crazy money. And Bufus says, yeah, those Wander Franco cards that dropped for Tops now. $10 for one, it was, if you bought four, it was 20 So, okay, that, that's how those people on eBay are selling them for 5 bucks a piece, I guess. And they also maybe got them for free because I think you're able to use your Tops Now points. So if they had a bunch of Tops Now points, they might have just been able to get those for nothing. And they're just passing them along now for 5 bucks, getting some money for their Tops Now points. That's a possibility. So you might see those for pretty cheap, those Wander Franco cards. G Funk says, "Wonder what time Stadium Club is dropping on Tom's website." Yeah, that's another option. If you strike out on Target today, which hopefully we don't, and if Target does drop cards, I think that you're all going to be able to get some cards. But if you do strike out, don't fret. Tops will have them for you. They'll have the Stadium Club hobby boxes and possibly even blaster boxes, and uh, they sell their stuff for a deep discount without the middleman. So you'll be able to get the hobby boxes for under a hundred dollars, which on most other sites there, I think like one one thirty is their list price, and then after the tax and shipping, it's like one forty something. Spencer says, "I just bought Tops now, Wander Franca for six dollars and forty two cents, so less than Tops sold them for. Nice job." I'm sure um, with a print run of 61000 we might even see that price fall a little even more. Cam says, first time watching live, but I've been watching for a few weeks now, enjoying the breaks. Thanks, man. Glad to have you here. And Joe said uh, the Orioles just sent a Tops Means no-hitter, uh, John Means no-hitter Tops now card to all of the partial and full season ticket holders. That's pretty awesome. Max says, I bought a Series 2 hobby off of Tops. It was $147. That's, um, I think that that's really high. It wasn't a jumbo. They don't sell jumbos on Tops website, but um, I don't know how you paid that much for a hobby from Tops. I think hobbies from Tops may have been $79.99, I think. When they first dropped, of course, they sold out after not too long. Here we have an upside down card. This is Gar This is a Garrett Crochet short print card. So a nice one right there, Garrett Crochet. Hype is here is in the house. Is any place holders yet? I haven't seen any yet. We've got Jeff watching for us. He hasn't put anything up yet. But the way it works is they put these place holders up. Like right now, you can't see what's coming up, but they they make the links live maybe about 10 minutes or so before they decide to drop the cards. And then those those links come up as sold out for about 10 minutes and then they enter in an inventory i guess and then that's when you can start picking up the cards next pack up scott o says andrew vaughn should be a really good ball player i would think so number three overall pick jeff says that's right Series 2 hobby boxes were $79.99, as were Series 1. So always a lot cheaper when you buy directly from Topps. And uh, Topps has got a pretty vigorous CAPTCHA system where it really deters most bots, I think. Brian says, uh, just got back my 2019 Bowman Chrome Blue Franco from PSA. 30-day order took eight months just in time to sell it. Brian, that's awesome, man. That came back right at the right time. I know Jeff has, has a nice collection of Wanders that he got back at the right time as well. There's a Nick Solak out of $4.99. And we have Spencer Howard is the next hit. And we also have Tariq Scooball and David Ortiz. Scott O says, when does 2021 Topps Chrome drop? I don't have the exact date, but usually Chrome is in July. Right around the end of July, sometimes things can get changed. But if you want to know exactly when something's going to drop, if you go to cardboardconnection.com and type in new release calendar, 
Maybe just Google new release calendar and cardboard connection. They'll have all of the uh, the lineup there. Pack to the future says Chrome's in August this year. All right, so August. That's usually around the, the regular time. There's Crown and Worth. Hayden T. Uh, Hayden T. says, At what time is the stadium goods break? Stadium club break uh, today. Picked a box up. Oh, the stadium club break on my website is going to be probably about 8 p.m. or so. I got to get my kiddos to bed before I, I start breaking. So um, I'll put the younger ones to bed at around 8, and then uh, I'll be live right around 8 or maybe a little after. We do have... We have a lot of boxes, but there's only 16 packs per box. They're not giant boxes. As you know, those stadium club boxes are usually pretty thin, like that thin. A regular hobby box might be like that. So the cards are much nicer uh, altogether. You don't have the borders. You have that awesome photography, and I'm looking forward to seeing the pictures. We'll take our time with the preview video and go through that. And also, nice thing about those hobby boxes, stadium club is that you get two autographs in every box, which a lot of times nowadays, you only get one in like all the hobbies. And most of the time, those hits are going to be relic. Pretty much three to one relics to autographs in the hobby boxes. So looking forward to all the autographs in Stadium Club. As we get down... The, by the way, the autograph's going to be in this pack because... That's just the way it goes with uh, a lot of jumbos, as you have seen. If the relic comes out of the first pack on, on top of it, is the autograph comes out of the last one. We did have that nice Xander come out of the first pack. Seven years of top snake, Pearson, Alex Bregman. And anybody else in here? There's an Alex Kirloff, first Kirloff of the morning. So what's dropping today, says Sabre. Well, I'm not sure about football and basketball because, you, as you know, I don't really care too much about those sports. But there could be a lot of baseball drop today. We could potentially see a Series 2 drop, which they haven't dropped that yet. We could have a Stadium Club drop. We could also have um, Panini Absolute, Panini Select, and Bowman Blasters and Mega. So possibly six different boxes could be up for grabs today. Now... If and when Series 2 does go live, you don't have to worry about it selling out within 30 seconds. I think it's going to take, depending on how much is available, which I would expect it to be an awful lot, it could take anywhere from uh, an hour to maybe like uh, the rest of the day for that to, to sell out. I think it's an 80% chance of a drop today, Flender. He says he's got 30% chance nothing at all drops. That could be the case, but I'm pretty pretty sure that uh, they should be dropping cards. Otherwise, Target, what are you doing? Look at that. Oh, man, look at this hit to the American League East. That's one of my favorite autographs that we pulled out of Tops. A Vladimir Guerrero Jr. out of 30 autograph relic. A beautiful card right there. Vladdy, last time I checked, was tied with Shohei Otani with 23 home runs for the major league lead. And this one goes to the American League East. Richard Duquette having himself around right now. Pretty good box. You got the Relic hit. Now you got the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. hit as well. Nice one right there, man. And we're only one box in. We also are going to have all these silver packs as well. So I'm hoping this is a hot case. And that's a good indicator that uh, we're on the right track to having a pretty hot case. Michael says, Vladdy hit one last night. He's up to 24. Nice. Awesome stuff right there. I didn't have a chance to check out any games last night. I did look at the leaderboard and saw they were tied at 23 going into last night. So very nice stuff right there. It's a kind of a kind of tightening up there at the top of the leaderboard. You got Shohei with 23. You got Tatis up there with 22. Acuna's not too far behind. Acuna's got 20. Dolis Garcia's got 20. So one of those guys, if they get hot. We'll see what happens. That's a nice pull right there. So that's the end of box number one. JMR says, hey, Jazz, I'm still shocked. Last night I pulled a Mike Trout Finest Careers Die Cut Autograph Card at a 10 from Topps Finest. Now I'm ready for some new cards. That's awesome stuff right there. Larry says, Cubs combined on a no-hitter to beat the Dodgers and Bueller. Go Cubs. What is that, our seventh no-hitter of the year? Thanks for keeping me updated. I did not follow any baseball last night. I was actually... Uh, after I got home last night, I was at a softball playoff game. My daughter's team got eliminated from the playoffs, unfortunately, so softball's over for the season. 
got home and um, I just started sleeving like crazy. Sorting and sleeving. So from last week's jumbo breaks, I finally got all the break D and break E sorted out and all team bagged up and processed and they're all on the shelves right now ready to be shipped. The stuff from Wednesday is next up on my ledger. We'll see if I can get that sorted this weekend. All right, so we've got our silver packs from box number two. We've got a 2010 Joey Bart. I think they did a good job picking this as the uh, the design. The 2010 has, what, Mad Bum and also Joey Bart in that set. So kind of cool that he gets that design. And also Ian Anderson, Braves card. I wonder if they do that on purpose. Like the Braves had Tom Glavin's rookie card. Do you think, I'm just noticing this now, like 88 tops, Braves, Tom Glavin, rookie number one card in the set. 2010 tops, you got Mad Bum, Madison Bumgarner, and Joey Bart, top cards in the set. You know what? Now that I think about it, I think they do do that on purpose, don't they? Let's think back, like 78 tops, they put Cal Ripken Jr. on the front, who's the, the rookie of that set, Eddie Murray. So I think there might be a little correlation there between some of these. 2004 tops, Dylan Carlson's on the front. Guess who's the top rookie card in that set? Yadier Molina. So it kind of makes sense now, now that I think about this. Kind of a fun game that I just, just thought of now. Like, who's the rookie card? Why did they pick that design? They're giving the, kind of like some paying homage to the top rookie of the set and giving it to the same team. Kind of cool. Derek Jeter's got the 52 design, right? For the Mickey Mantle first tops card. All right, so there we go. Get all those on the screen. Box number two out of five. Rick is here, says, Vlad Jr., nice hit. Thanks, Jeb. You're welcome. Great hit for sure. That's uh, That might be the hit of the box. We'll see. Here's box number two. As we continue to await the target drop, we'll see if um, the relics in here, if the relics in here, it's going to be um, at the very end. Hayden says, can I buy a box strip in the stream right now? Yeah, Hayden, what do you want? Do you want a jumbo or do you want um, do you want select? I do have select boxes that are available to rip. Those are $229. If there's going to be anything good in the jumbo packs, it's typically going to be right smack dab in the middle. That's where all your parallels and short prints are. And uh, by the way, there's no relic in that pack, so they switched it up on us, this box. Unless I screwed up in the order that I took them out of the, the pack. So kind of a, a mystery box right here as to where the autograph is going to fall. Typically, from the boxes that I've seen, if the autograph's not there, it's usually this pack. There's Key Brian Hayes. Basically, there's like two different collations of boxes for the jumbos with the autographs. Autographs either right there or right there from pretty much every box that I've seen. Here's a upside down out of 70 black border. Or actually, it's the 70 years of tops. So out of the 70, you got two choices. It's either going to be the black border or the 70 years of tops. So there we go. Nice one right there. We've got a Shane McClanahan in there with a die cut Stand the Man Mutual card. And here's the rest of our base cards, which we'll just go through and see if there's any Key Brian Hayes or Kirilov or Crochets or Crennenworths. Sean says, how can I find the drop on Target's website? If you go to their website and you just simply um, type in trading cards, that'll bring them all up. There's nothing, I mean, there's cards available, but they're not any good. Unless you like um, Sage football or hockey cards. I'll tell you what, you hockey fans out there, not having too much of a time in this uh, this new phase of the industry that we've entered into. Here we go to the middle. Let's see what we can find. Uh, hopefully there's some good stuff in here. Now, like I said, this could have the this could possibly have the autograph in here. This Jazz Chisholm. And nice gold card of Keone Kella. Uh, looks like the autograph is yet to be found. There's a Kyle Freeland gold foil, but we do have a Randall Gritchick out of 300. This is advanced stats card right there. Max Scherzer, 
1958 style design, Stan Musial. I don't know why they picked Scherzer for 50. I guess there's no reason for that one. No, no Expos around, no Nationals around on the 58 set. Phase says, morning, Eric. Checking in your live right before my flight to Puerto Rico to calm my nerves. Awesome, man. Hey, don't be nervous about that. You get to get to Puerto Rico. I'd be super pumped right now. I've uh, never been to Puerto Rico, actually. I was thinking about it a couple times. They have that Hiram, Hiram Bithorn Stadium down there where they used to play. The, the Expos used to play down there a lot. And I was thinking for, you know, back in the day, thinking about heading down there, maybe checking out a game, but never did. One of these days, I'd like to go there. So have fun. That's pretty awesome. Sean says, anyone going to the National? I bet you there's quite a few people in here that are going to make the trek to Chicago for the National. I'm planning on going. I'm not sure which day or days. There's Garrett Crochet. Danny says, Puerto Rico is beautiful. I'm Puerto Rican. From everything I've seen, definitely, uh, definitely a beautiful place. I'm starting to get nervous that there hasn't been a hit out of this box yet. Thomas says, you got to do a 2014 update box. Yeah, I think that um, I should probably grab a box or two of those, especially with what DeGrom's doing right now. All right, next up. Twenty fourteen update. Who we got in that? Mookie Betts, DeGrom, and Springer, right? Jay says, I sent you a message on Patreon. I was missing my holiday pack. Well guess what, man? I will give you two holiday packs in the next month. Sometimes mistakes happen. I'll put a uh Put, let me know your real name because that's how I'll be able to find you. I guess I can just put J Sells, but it'd be faster if I had your real name on the shelf. I'll give you two next month. Sorry for the omission. Here is a gold Matt Carpenter, Roger Maris, and Willie May. Still zero hits in this box. Kurt says, I'm staying to 7 a.m. This is getting ridiculous. Well, most of the breaks typically do happen in the 7 a.m. hour. So, and baseball is usually at the end of that 7 a.m. hour. So, somewhere there's a guy with his finger on the button to drop the cards. I hope he gets to it within the next hour or so. Next pack up. Let's see what we've got in this one. There's a Clark Schmidt rookie card, which is a nice one. Joe says, my wife says she thinks I have a problem when she opened the mailbox to find 25 eBay deliveries yesterday. Uh, I'll tell you what, I, I, I can relate to that. I have a lot of boxes. So I panicked because I asked my case guy, um, what are my Series 2 cases getting here? And, oh, I don't know. There's, you know, it's supposed to ship soon. And uh, I was looking on Still City Collectibles. It says July 9th. And I was like, well, I just told everyone on a $51 tier that I was having them a Series 2 blast for this month. So I panicked. And I went on eBay. And I was buying, I was like buying lots, lots and lots of lots of Series 2 blasters to make sure I could get those all out to you. And um, I was paying around $25 a box, which is a, a markup. But they're not making much profit. Like I would go and I'd find a lot of them. Um, say like a lot of 10 for like 250 now after the sellers buy them at walmart pay the tax and pay the ebay fees they're not making any money so i don't really feel bad about doing that there's an anthony rendon by the way in our first hits coming up the rendon is a short print so wouldn't you know i get all i buy all these blaster boxes then my cases show up like the next day so that's the way it goes there's a nate pearson first hit of this box to the american league east again the blue jays so richard with another hit We've got a Hyunjin Ryu right there as well. Hyunjin Ryu for the Blue Jays with that Blue Jay theme. Let's see what else. Alejandro Kirk, nothing else really crazy in there. All right, next pack up. Let's see what we've got. Still an autograph and a manufactured relic in here as well. Just like to go through these stacks one more time, just real quickly, make sure all the inserts are taken out. Uh, does how can you tell if it's a short print or not? Well, it's Tops makes it pretty easy for you. They flip it upside down. It'll be right in the middle of the pack. 
and uh, it'll be flipped upside down. And there'll be a number on the back as well. Those tiny numbers will end in 41 if it's a short print, 42 if it's a super short print, or 43 if it is a super, super short print. And here we go with the good stuff. Um, we've got a Corey Kluber gold foil. We've got Raphael Devers, American League East, yet again. Raphael Devers from the Red Sox on card auto. That's one of the reasons I do love the jumbos. You get guaranteed autographs. When I sorted out one of our breaks the other day, uh, it was break D for uh, the hobby boxes. I think it was like, I don't know, 10 boxes. I was like, wait a minute, where's all the autographs? There's only two autographs in here, plus a Barry Larkin silver autograph. I was like, oh yeah, it's hobby. You get a lot more autographs, one in every box, which is pretty nice. So there's the autograph. Raphael Devers, very nice player. So far, autographs out of these, out of this case, two of them. We had um, Vladdy Jr. and Raphael Devers. So, so far, we're two for two on nice hits. We don't have any of the, like, Mitch Whites and stuff like that. So there's still a manufactured patch out here. Let's see what we've got. There is Donovan Solano, gold foil card. And we have a Dallas Keuchel out of 299. Nice orange and a Garrett Crochet as well. R a patch. Rookie patch, rookie manufactured patch. It's probably worth maybe a couple bucks at most. Nothing crazy. But at least there's a, you know, another hit for the American League Central. David said anything drop yet? Nothing has dropped yet. If anything does drop, it's likely going to be... If it's baseball, every time baseball is dropped, it's been uh, late in the 7 a.m. hour. So we're talking like 7.45. The last time they dropped cards, it was uh, Bowman. And uh, those were at 7.55 a.m. So it might be right about there. Philip says, thoughts on Gilbert Sanchez? I don't know too much about him to give a good opinion. Andrew said he pulled an, a Kirloff short print out of a blaster. That's pretty awesome. Jeff's got the link right there. It says, this is the target search that I use. So that's what you probably want to use. You could keep refreshing the page. We'll let you know when we see some placeholders go up so that we know that the cards are going to be coming. That's how you know. Once you see card like series two will come up, it'll say sold out. And you're like, oh man, I missed it. 30 seconds, all the bots took all of them. Well, no, that, that's just a placeholder. They will repopulate that after not too long. This is our last pack from this jumbo box. There's a Cronenworth right there. And middle, we've got all the good stuff. You get the gold card. The gold foils, by the way, if you're wondering about these, they're not numbered, but they're only available in jumbos. And the, I think the word on the street was there was only 700 copies or so of each card last year. I don't know if that's changed with the upped print runs. There's Kirilov. And that'll do it for box number two out of five. Also, have those silver packs to open for you guys. Let me grab the next one. All right, there we go. I have them, like, behind me. All right, so let me take a quick look at Target's website, see if anything is going on over here. I'm still seeing 122 possible um, things that you could buy right now on their website. And uh, that's what it's been for all morning. So still nothing up there. Let's go into the next box and see what we can find. Box number three. Looks like... Uh, Joe says Mike Gallagher has that Tatis Major League Material auto on eBay for $7.99. Oh, man, I got so scared right there. I, I think that they just got moved over. I only saw one of the box toppers, but it did indeed get moved over. It's an 
five Craig Biggio and a nice Jazz Chisholm rookie card from 2013 Tops. That is a nice one. G Funk says Walmart raised the the price of Bowman Blasters to 36. I think that's actually sold by a uh, a secondary company that just uses the Walmart website as a platform, much the same as those third party sellers on Amazon. I bet you if you kind of do a little more research on that, it probably would say sold by like the toy chest or something like that. Yeah, I don't think that's actually. Um, I don't think that's actually Target doing it. All right, here we go with the next next uh, stack of cards here. Let's see what we've got. Garrett Crochet right there. We've got a TJ Antone Silver Foil. Kyle Schwarber, Marcelo Zuna, and Frankie Lindor. Sam says they sold out at that price too. That's pretty crazy. Um, I don't know. If, I, don't, I, I would bet you they weren't sold by Walmart themselves. Because that's an eBay price. So yeah, I wouldn't pay that from Walmart. Maybe you'll be able to get some today from Target. We'll see. Trevor Rogers. Chemical says, what do you search on Target for the drop for Target? You just search trading cards, and then you drill down on the left-hand side by filtering out to um, sold by Target and include out of stock. Because before they drop the cards, they come up as out of stock first. Nice Joey Dell right there. And it'll say sold out, and then they'll, uh, they'll go ahead and adjust the inventory, and then they'll go live with it. So still nothing yet. Bufa says, we need a like spike. Almost at 100 likes. Thank you, everybody, for watching today. Really appreciate that. Now, let's see what we've got with this next one. Do you need to filter out shipping? Uh, I don't mess with the shipping. Um, I just leave it as those two filters. There's DJ LeMayhew, and we've got a Sixto Sanchez, 1986. Purple border, Nolan Ryan and Craig Biggio. Back to the Future says, I want that Devers. That autograph Devers, you're going to have to talk to Rick about that. Alexis Gonzalez says, weekly reminder that the Mets are winning the World Series. They might. Uh, with Jacob DeGrom, he'll, DeGrom should be pretty fresh. They, they seem to really be watching his, inning, his innings. I, I, every time I look at a box score, he throws like five or six innings. And I'm like, wait a minute. He gave up like one hit. I look at the innings pitch, it's like 70. Steve says, was anyone who was able to buy Sapphire on Wednesday get a shipping confirmation yet that weren't Montgomery Club members? So I did see that they went on public sale, and I, I didn't buy any extras. I just got the six from the Montgomery Club. And uh, hopefully those show up soon. It's always nice when you buy something, and it shows up a couple days later. Once those come in, we'll open those up for you guys and check those out. We've got a Keegan Aiken silver foil. We've got Bryce Harper in there as well and Luis Garcia. PTC says exactly. Stop talking about DeGrom until he, can th until he throws more than 70 pitches. Yeah, they've uh, definitely been uh, definitely been watching his, his uh, workload, keeping him safe for the playoffs. Victor says, I received my package. You are the best. Thanks, man. Thank you very much for... So the support on Patreon. Really appreciate that. Some people saying Shohei is better. Better pitcher. Well, you know what? I guess we'll see where they're at at the end of the season. Here we go with our next stack of cards. Let's see what we've got going on. Uh, Cal says, has Target ever dropped cards on Fridays, they used to always do it on Fridays. That was like the uh, that was where the the uh, drops always used to happen. Then they started switching it up a couple weeks ago. It'd just be random days. There's a 65 Gary Carter, Clinton Kershaw. What says I'm still driving to work? Be careful. Hopefully you're just listening in and keep your eyes on the road. 
Don't need any accidents out there. And if there's like a super, super short print pull or something like that, it's worth a bunch of money. Just have to pull off the road and watch it. Evan says, great box this week. My $99 try hit three relics in it. Nice job, man. I'm just glad when you guys get some success out of the Patreon stuff. Thornton uh, Thorson says, any color wheels yet from uh, Select? Yeah, we have pulled those. I think the color wheels are out of 20. I think I pulled like three of them. Select definitely is a nice product with four hits. Sometimes some boxes are better than others, though. There's a Taiwan Walker out of 199 IC, CJ Crone, and we've got a Miguel Cabrera game used card right there. Going to our Detroit Tigers American League Central Division. There's Carlos Correa. And that's pretty much it from pack number six. DN Rexy says, I work 3.30 a.m. to noon. And to be honest, I don't do much. <laughs> so I love these early breaks. Gives me a little bit of something to listen to. That's awesome, man. Some people have those types of jobs where, you know, it's a lot of downtime. I'm glad that you're able to tune in and hang out with us. Andrew says, has anyone found Absolute in retail? I know that Jeff showed me a picture of a whole bunch of Absolute on a shelf out in the Midwest. I forget what store. It might have been Shields. And I think Shields has a reputation for jacking their prices up, too. So that might be like $30 a piece. We've got a nice hit right here. Alex Kirloff, gold foil rookie card. This one's probably worth uh, anywhere between $20 and $40, I would say. His base rookie card goes for about 3 bucks on eBay, 3 or 4 bucks, And the autograph as well, Bo Burrows is the auto. So another American League Central hit right there. Nice one. Uva says, do I have a business card? I do not. I should probably have those made up. Um, that's not a bad idea. Have like a little business card. There's another Alex Kirloff. Shills was $20 for Absolute, says Jason. Okay. And Alfred said, I saw Absolute Blasters at Meyer last weekend. So I guess that if you're hitting out, hitting up the Walmarts today, a good chance you might see some Absolute, which in the past, the Absolute uh, Blasters have been pretty trashy because you either get, I think there's like two packs in there and there's like 10 cards. And it's typically going to be a relic that you have in there. I opened a... I wouldn't say a bunch of them. I probably opened six or seven of those blasters last year. Got nothing but relics. I should get like a... See if I can get a case or two of those and just open them up and we can see what the actual breakdown is. It's going to be a lot more relics than autographs. We've got a gold card there of Chris Bryant having a great season. We've got a Corey Seager gold foil. And we've got a Mariana Rivera. And that is a short print. There's Mo. Out in Monument Park, showing off his plaque right there. A nice one right there. America League East gets this one. Marion Rivera, short print. Beautiful card right there. The The big pool would be the Mickey Mantle Super short print. Got a rookie patch of Sam Hoff. The, the fake Casey Mize card comes back. You usually find one of those like every other box. Remember we pulled this out of the preview video and people were yelling at me for missing the autograph because I didn't see this top certified at the bottom. Well, it turns out that's a fake. And they're all fakes. And there's literally thousands of that card that's been printed. Got to watch out for those on eBay if you're a Casey Mize fan. Like, oh, Casey Mize autograph for 10 bucks or whatever. I think I'll buy that. Don't do that because that's a fake. Andrew says, maybe I'll finally go back and try Meyer tomorrow. You might as well. I think there's going to be some cards on the shelves, or at least baseball if you're early. I think is Meyer Saturday at 6 a.m., I think. Different stores have different times. We don't have any Myers around here, so I, I don't really know their procedures. I know Walmart usually stocks Friday mornings to uh, afternoons, depending on the Walmart. Some more insert cards there. G found some cards at Cracker Barrel. Yeah, I think the word on the street was they have fat packs of cards there. And nothing else in there. There's some base cards. Nothing else crazy going on. All right, here we go. Next stack. MCB says, I'm a graphic designer by trade. Awesome, man. That would be very nice. Definitely do for maybe like a updated logo or something like that. Maybe at 100K. I really appreciate that, man. 
Let's see, we've got a Robbie Grossman, gold foil. We've got an Aaron Judge, 1959. Ronald Cunha Jr. And that'll do it for that box. So three boxes down. Two boxes left to go. We'll reach the next one. Still nothing on Target's website. Let's do a quick uh, Target check here. That's uh, still, let me hit the refresh button. Still, I'm seeing 122. Come on, Target. Usually by now, we'll, we'll see the uh, basketball and football go. Typically, that goes in the late 6 o'clock hour, early 7 o'clock hour. Still nothing. I'll tell you what, I can't wait for Target to put their cards back in the store. I don't, I don't know. This just not knowing either put them back in store or make it so that it's predictable. Like they drop at a certain time. Chris says now we have streams waiting on retail card drops. We're actually doing a breaks here, Chris, and it's kind of like an extra little wrinkle to the breaks. Here's two silver packs, which will open at the end of this round. We've got a Jordan Alvarez. Nice 1975 Tops design card right there. And we also have a Christian Pache, 1980 Tops. Get these packs right there. All right, move these over and see what we've got. Leo says, when will Stadium Club be available on Top's website? I would tell you to check Top's website between 9 a.m. and uh, 1 p.m. today. That's usually the times they go up. Most frequently, probably between 10 and 11. But 9 a.m. to 1 is kind of your window. They, they, drop, they usually drop it at different times. You're just going to have to keep refreshing the page. Now, they're not going to sell out in a few seconds because Stadium Club's a pretty big release. They have a lot of boxes, and they have a pretty strict uh, limit and also a good capture system to keep the bots out. So they'll probably be available for at least, I would say, hopefully 20 minutes. So if you don't have to be there clicking refresh every 10 seconds, but you should check in every few minutes or so, every 10 minutes. G Funk said they dropped Series 2 at 11 a.m. last time. So that's all Eastern Standard Time, those times I'm giving you. If you're on the West Coast, you got to be up a little earlier for cards. Here we go. There's a Kevin Kiermeyer. Silver foil. We've got an advanced stats card right here. Advanced stats are out of 300. And this one is a Luis Alexander Basabe advanced stats card. Zero to 60 Shane Bieber, Davey Garcia in there as well. Uh, Neil says, I saw a 2021 Mantle Super Short on eBay for 800 with 26 bids. Yeah, that's depending on how much time is left, that could end up, it's probably going to go for maybe a couple grand. So those Super Short prints are very in demand. And uh, I have i don't know how many cases of Series 2 I've opened yet, but I, I would guess it's over 20 now, and I've only pulled one Super Short print. So they are definitely Super Short printed. They're tough to find when it takes you that many... Um, boxes and cases to open up to find one there's Cronenworth once again and we've got a gold Dwight Smith Jr. some of you might remember his dad Dwight Smith Sr. from the Cubbies gold foil upside down hits leader card of Clemente's nice one Xander Bogarts 2008 tops design Robbie Alomar what kind of value does Stadium Club hold? Stadium Club's a nice set. Uh, if you pull the autographs out of there and it, it's a good player, it's going to be worth some money for sure. Kind of pretty much on par with what your, your Topps autos are, are worth. But they are going to probably load you up with a lot of rookie autos as well. They give you a lot more autographs for your buck, basically. The two autos per box, two guaranteed autos. So there'll be, a, there'll be plenty of guys like Clark Schmidt, and hopefully there's not a whole lot of like the cup coffee guys that 
we're like, wait a minute, who's this guy? There's a Trevor Rogers right there. But I'm expecting to find quite a few rookie autos in Stadium Club. We'll see how that turns out tonight. Jimmy's wondering if Wander's going to be an update. I highly doubt it. I think he's going to be in 2022 Top Series 1. Just because he appeared too late in the season. Tops has like these deadlines where they finalize the checklist. And uh, if you don't appear by a certain date, you don't make it into the update set. And we kind of figured that out last, not last year, but two years before when Jordan Alvarez broke in, was setting the world on fire in 2019. Um, he ended up winning the rookie of the year. He wasn't an update. Everyone's like, why is Juan, or uh, why is Jordan not in update? It's because he appeared too late in the season by about a week or or so, maybe even less than that. And Wander appeared after Jordan's debut date. So I'm thinking that uh, he's going to be in Series 1. Bufus says 800 watch and only 162 likes. We need a like spike. Thank you, Bufus. For anyone that has hit that like button, I really appreciate that. Thanks very much for hanging out and uh, waiting for this drop here. Hopefully we get one soon. It'd be very nice. That's what we're waiting on as we look at these Series 2 jumbo boxes being broken so far. No super shorts. Had some nice hits so far with the Vladimir Guerrero Jr. being the best one of the day. Next pack up. Pack to the Future says, I don't think there's going to be a drop today. Well, there might not be one. We're still, um, we're still early. I wouldn't get too concerned about it yet. We've got a silver foil of Jordan Weems. We've got a 70 out of 70, either black border or 70 years of tops gray border. It is a black border. Noah Syndergaard has been hurt for a while. Daegu says, Vladdy's cards haven't gone up that much. Why do you think his cards aren't increasing? Well, here's the reason. All the cards are going down. Like uh, Tatis is having a great season. He's going down. Everyone's going down. And Vladdy's one of the lone guys, along with maybe Wander Franco, who's going up right now. Um, there's a, a big... Um, correction going on right now in the hobby in terms of all those PSA graded cards out of 199 Sam Huff to the American League West. So, uh, yeah, even Bichette, who's having a great season, is going down. Shohei is going up as well. Yeah, Shohei was, um, Shohei's been on a roller coaster. Ethan, how's it going? He was way up when he first came onto the scene, then way down after he got hurt. Now he's uh, Going back up again, what he's been doing. Show he's a good candidate for the American League MVP this year with his all those dingers that he has and his ability to pitch. Bros watching train says, Good morning, Eric. You have my nine year old hooked. He wants to know if uh, Wander Franco card is dropping for Tops update. Uh, I highly doubt it. If you do want a, want a Wander Franco card, they dropped uh, 61,000 of them or they printed 61,000 Tops now Wander Francos to celebrate his debut. You can find those on eBay for less than they cost on Top's website, actually, if you really need to get your hand on one. Here's the autograph. It's Alejandro Kirk out of 50. A nice one right there again to the American League East. Alejandro Kirk is a nice hitting prospect. If you look at his minor league numbers, he's always got good averages. Kind of a portly guy, so people may kind of dismiss him, but he could be a solid player for sure. So Alejandro Kirk, nice numbered card right there. Greg says, love the 65 design. Haven't seen any in hobby boxes, though. Yeah, that's right, Greg. The 65 redos, as they call them, are only available in blasters and retail. So hangers, any kind of retail of Series uh, 2 is where you're going to find all those at. They have certain specials for each, like in the... Hobby boxes and, and jumbo, you get the uh, you get the black border out of seventy. You can only get those there. Uh, foil cards and jumbos. Not yet, Mike. Sometimes it takes me up to thirty days to get the cards out because there's uh, a whole lot of packages that I have to do each and uh, each and every month. Michael says Otani's going to be hitting bombs in the home run derby at that altitude. That's right. I didn't even think about that. At Coors Field. Hopefully, they don't keep those balls in the humidor. And man, we're going to see some 500 plus foot home runs for sure. There's AJ Puck. We got an upside down Keston Hira. 
That one is a regular short print. We could tell that by that small number on the back. It ends in 41, so that gives us the tip off. There's a Chris Carpenter manufactured patch. There's Nick Madrigal and Will Clark right there. Yeah, Marcus, you usually say 30 days because you get a package sent every 30 days, and I typically like to put it in with your monthly package. If you're a $3 tier member and you don't have a monthly package, and after I get all the monthly stuff out, then I typically go back and... After that, after all the monthly packages are out, then I work on all the three dollar people and get those out. I'll flip these around and see what we've got in this stack. I already got the autographs, so Griffin says Otani PSA rookies were thirty dollars around spring training time, and man, they've definitely gone way up. In terms of prices lowering, what do we we mean by a correction? There's a key, Brian Hayes. Well, in March, around spring training, February, March, we're seeing cards selling for sometimes in some cases double what they're going for now. For example, let's take the Tatis card, for example. That one was going for about three hundred dollars in a PSA ten. Now it's down to like two hundred bucks or so. Um, and he's not done anything to warrant that. Like uh, he's been on fire. So if you really take a look, if you go to eBay recently sold, you can see as far back as I think like 60 or 90 days, just pick out a card you like uh, and and put them in order of it being sold. You'll see a, a significant drop in most cards. And it might, it might only continue a little more. Some people are calling it a, a crash. I don't know if I'd call it a crash, more or less a, definitely a correction. Probably those prices are getting back in line to where they should have been um, before everything just went crazy. Here's the last pack of this box. Let's see what we got in here. There's Jazz Chisholm. Andrew Smith says, good morning, Eric. Andrew, thank you very much for the super chat. Really appreciate that. Good morning. You haven't missed anything yet if you're waiting for a tops drop on Target here at 7.28 a.m. Still nothing going on yet. And that's it for that pack. We still have those silver packs. Jason says, the correction is to... Uh, for people getting out of it. Folks have moved on since the pandemic. That's not, you know what? That's a good point. Now with everyone going back to work, um, a lot of people that were maybe buying cards and flipping them, trying to make profits are, are out of it now. Eric says there's been a big price decline since March. Right now we are at the same price level as January of 2021. If anyone has an alt account, it's a nice way to watch market trends. Yeah, definitely things have uh, been going down. And by the way, if you want some Panini Absolute Blasters, looks like Jeff has a link there. They, they are available now on Kroger's website for $25. I'm not sure if that's the retail price or if it's jacked up just a little bit. Usually when, whenever I see blaster prices, I think that $20 is a fair price. Some stores sell them for a little bit more. That's, I guess, not a bad price, especially if you go on eBay and, and see what they're going for. Typically on eBay, anything Blasters sells like or at least they try to sell them ten dollars over. So if you want to get some uh, blasters of absolute, there's an option for you. All right, this is our fifth and final jumbo box. Let's see what we've got. And Daryl says, I think it's because they're offering quote unquote free shipping. That's probably why. Yep, that makes sense. I mean, those blasters aren't going to be super expensive to ship because they only, they're only going to weigh a few ounces anyway. Still nothing on Target's website yet. Yep, nothing. So new box, time to double check it one more time before we go into this one. Uh, looks like uh, still nothing new on Target's website. So if you're wondering, well, I'll, I'll probably hang out here until about 8 a.m. If they don't have any cards dropping by 8 a.m., I'm... I'm on board with uh, Jeff that we'll probably head on out of here. If you don't see him by eight, probably nothing's going to happen. So my confidence is falling a little bit. Typically, baseball does start to drop uh, around this time within the next 30 minutes. If we don't see it within the next 30 minutes, I I'm, think I'm going to throw up my hands and say, what the heck, Target? Key Brian Hayes and Alec Bohm. 
1973, 1961 style designs are a nice one. FTC Family Cards with a very generous super chat. Says, good morning, Eric. Excited to see some drops today. I hope that we get to see some FDC. Thank you very much for that donation. And uh, we'll see if they come out here. 30 minutes are crucial. If we don't see it within the next 30 minutes, I would, I'm would. i probably going to jump ship and just give up and head out to uh, the physical stores and see if I can find them out there. Nate says the drops might be delayed for the West Coast people. That's always a possibility. But to this, to this uh, date, Target has not shown any regard for the West Coast coast folks they're they're like oh, we don't care uh, we'll just drop them nice and early so i mean even if they drop them at 8 a.m it's still 5 a.m west coast time which is pretty brutal eric says the latest target has dropped cards was 743 eastern on may 21st i think yeah usually it's right around there for baseball i think the latest i saw them was 755 uh, that might have been two weeks ago. Rick says, I'm satisfied. Vlad Jr. and Devers Autos. Nervous about that uh, pending PayPal. Well, if it, for some reason, doesn't clear, then uh, you can just, you know, send me another payment and uh, get caught up that way. Usually it does, though. Like, when I did the Trevor Lawrence, there was something in the Trevor Lawrence. I think it was called, like, Tops X. I put, like, one box, one Trevor Lawrence Tops X or something like that. And... Uh, it automatically trigger, triggered a review. I guess if you have Xbox and anything, it triggers a review. And Jeff says, Tops is starting to send out emails for the Lucky Lotto winners to purchase two Bowman Sapphire boxes this morning. I believe you can still sign up for that. So there's another opportunity for you guys if you'd like to get some Sapphire. I'm looking forward to those Bowman Sapphire boxes coming in. We'll be looking for some Blaze, Jordan, Austin, Martin, Sapphire cards. And there's a lot of other good rookies in that are good prospects in that set as well, along with those guys. Next pack up. Let's see what we've got in this one. Nathan says, how do I sign up for the lotto? Uh, head on over to Tom's website, see if it's over there. I'm not sure if... I didn't sign up for it, so I'm not sure. Jeff might have the link. Chris says... Thanks for these videos. It really helps to know when Target drops cards. Thanks, man. Yeah, it's, it's always nice to find cards. Now, Target has not been really uh, cooperating too much. There's Trevor Rogers. We've got a Ted Williams and Jose Abreu. And Andrew says, Andrew says the raffle closes at 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time today. So you've got about an hour and a half to get in there if you want to try for that raffle of those Bowman Sapphire boxes. And that's it for this one. Next up. Carlos Santana right there. He, Brian Hayes. I'll be breaking baseball. Says, why am I up at 4.30 a.m.? Because Jeb's the goat. Thanks, man. Also, probably because you want to get some cards, and I'm hoping that uh, we find them soon. I would say if um, you don't see them by 8, that you might want to just uh, go ahead and get some sleep. Chris Bubich is a nice rookie right there. Chris Bubich from the Royals. Very nice one. Also have a 56 top style card of Ken Griffey Jr. and a Mike Trout All-Star card to add on as well. Uh, Andrew says... I just grabbed four absolute. Price isn't too bad with the free shipping. Thank you. So for those of you that are still waiting on cards and getting a little bit uh, worried that they might drop at all, Jeff has an alternate for you. He found some cards on Kroger's website for $24.99 plus free shipping. So, I mean, basically, they, they could just call it $24.99. They could, they could have put $19.99 on there and then charged you $4.99 at, ship, at, at checkout for shipping. It would have been just the same. That is a pretty good deal, I guess, when you think about it. And Heather's up. Heather says, good morning, Eric. Hey, Heather. Just breaking some cards here and uh, seeing if anything's going to drop. Nothing yet. There's a Jake Cronenworth. So Target didn't drop cards all week. So today looked like it was going to be the day. Logan said, I just grabbed an absolute blaster as well. Thank you, Jeff. So make sure you check out Jeff's channel. Thanks for the tips. He's always just chock full of tips and stuff like that. 
And we have a Shirt and Apostle. This is a silver foil card right there. 0-60, to 60, DJ LeMahieu, Tariq Scooball. Brad says, nice boobich. Got a nice two-card TTM from him. Through the mail return, good stuff. Uh, Brank says, I'm in for three absolute blasters from Kroger. Thanks, Jeff. Jeff, feel free to link your channel there so people can find you. It can help Jeff get to 1,000 subscribers so he can get paid for his content. Ah, uh, Jason says Sapphire was 150. Yeah, that was the price. But when Sapphire was a 150, that was before all the uh, tax and shipping. But uh, there's Jeff again, Absolute Blasters. He's got the link for you. Absolute Blasters are on Kroger's website right now for $24.99 free shipping. You can check that out and grab a couple of those. A few of you guys are. That's something to tide you over for the next uh, 20 some minutes in case Target doesn't drop cards. We'll see. Heldardo grabbed two absolute blasters. Nice stuff. There's a Jazz Chisholm. And here's our inserts. We have... Dimitri says, why is this division break cheaper? It's because it's five instead of six boxes. I paid different prices for different cases, so that's all factored in as well. The last one was six boxes as opposed to five. When do the cards drop on Target, says Stuart. Uh, you know what? Right, We're in uh, high alert right now. This is the time they should be dropping. And we haven't seen anything yet. And usually by now, cards have dropped already. Typically, it's basketball and football kind of lead the way, but nothing yet. Ike's in the house. Hey, Ike, how's it going, man? It's too early yet. Definitely is early. If you just got up, you haven't missed anything yet in terms of the drops. We're still waiting on them. John says, the last two Saturdays, I went grocery shopping at 6 a.m. at the local Meyer in Cincinnati. There was a lot of 10 to 15 people waiting for the door to open. The cards are behind the customer service desk. Do they have limits at Meyer? I'm kind of interested in that. They are supposed to build a Meyer in my neighborhood. Or not in my neighborhood, but in uh, the nearby town. So we haven't had any Myers around here within probably a few hour drive. It'd be nice to have another spot to maybe get cards. There's a Trevor Bauer. That one, by the way, is numbered out of 299. And Joey Bart, game used jersey to the NL West. Nice 1986 style card right there. Jordan Alvarez as well. I'll be breaking baseball, so I pull. I just grabbed a PSA nine Acuna rookie card off of eBay for sixty five. That's pretty good. Now, if you went back two months, that card's probably like a hundred dollar card, I would imagine. And uh, Acuna's been on fire this year, so that's just another indicator that there is a market correction going on right now. Aaron says Meyer limits you to two. They put them out Saturday morning at six. Yeah, that makes sense. I think two is fair. It just kind of stinks you have to get up so early to get out there and people lining up at the door. There's a Jazz Chisholm right there. I think eventually all this uh, craziness is going to die down and we'll maybe get back to normal where you'll be able to find cards on maybe just any day of the week, which would be nice. We'll see. There's a Yanni Diaz out of 499. Things like this, these booms, they come in waves. It's kind of a roller coaster. Everything ebbs and flows. You'll be able to find cards in the store again someday for sure. There's Braylon Marquez. This is a nice low number card out of 10 for the Cubbies. A red background right there out of 10 manufactured relic. And Jeff's got the link right there. So if you'd like to sign up for the Topps Bowman Sapphire Lotto um, from Topps, you got to sign into your Topps account. Go to your accounts page. Then scroll to the bottom. Look for the sign up link on the lower left. It's super easy. And super easy because Jeff just made it super easy for everybody. So Jeff, thank you very much. So if you want to get in on that um, possible um, Lotto to get yourself some Sapphire from Topps, that's what you got to do. JBH says, Northwest Barnes & Nobles uh, in Washington are stocking heavy on Fridays with a limit of two per product. Nice stuff right there. 
JR Cards checking in. Hey, man, how's it going? Rick says, Jeff, you do great work here. Yeah, Jeff's um, he's always on the ball. So we've got a couple different options for you right now if you're waiting on cards. You can go to Kroger and pick them up for $24.99 for the um, Absolute. And uh, you can also head on over to Tops and try to get on that Bowman Sapphire. Now, we'll also keep in mind, if they don't drop today, you do have a shot at um, Tops Drop and Stadium Club. You're going to see Hobby Boxes and Blaster Boxes go up sometime between 9 a.m. and 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on Tops website. That's usually the, the, the time on release day that they go up. Now, last time they dropped cards, which was Series 2, it got delayed a little bit because they were having a problem with their CAPTCHA system. Some of you that were trying to log in probably had some issues. I know it was getting frustrating for me, for sure. I had to keep picking out pictures of bicycles and crosswalks and traffic lights over and over and over again. Richard got his monthly tier Patreon box yesterday. Glad that it showed up, man. So whenever Tops drops their cards on Stadium Club, I'm not going to be around live. I'm going to be probably out at a Walmart trying to pick up some Stadium Club blasters to show a case on the channel, maybe some other things. But um, just uh, keep refreshing Tops page there. And if you want to find those, you want to go to Boxes and Packs. That's the page that they'll come up on on Tops' website. Jeff says, my humble Facebook page. Thank you, everyone. So there you go. There's a link to Jeff's Facebook page. He also has a nice YouTube channel with lots of great stuff on it. Drops regular content. Has Target done a drop yet this week? Brandon, no, nothing this week at all. Which is why pretty much everybody in the hobby was pretty confident that they were going to drop some cards today. But here we are. It's 7.42 a.m. And we haven't seen any cards dropped at all. Benjamin says maybe it's a sign Target's going to start putting their cards back at stores. Possibly. Walter says got my monthly tier package for Patreon as well. It's like Christmas morning. That's awesome, man. If any of you guys would like uh, like me to take care of your monthly card binge, you can check us out on Patreon. We have the $51 tier, $99 tier. We can send those off to you every month. The $51 tier gets a blaster box. It was a Series 2 blaster this month, along with four additional packs, which were um, 2021 Bowman, 2021 Top Series 1, 2021 Heritage, and 2021 Opening Day. Uh, the $99 tier is also very popular. You get two blasters each month. This month was 2021 Bowman, along with uh, 2021 Heritage. I'm all pretty much all out of Heritage now. And then a fat pack of 2020 Series 2 tops going after Luis Roberts. And then six additional packs, including 2021 Bowman, Series 1, Heritage, uh, Holiday, Opening Day, and some other ones. So we got those, and you might say, wait a minute, how do you get so many blasters? Well, I buy them by the case. If you go to SteelCityCollectibles.com right now, you can buy blaster cases of uh, most products. Like, for example, they have Series 2 on there. Um, they've got Stadium Club blasters on there. I'm still waiting for those to come in from them. And you could, there's like 40 in a case, so you can buy like 10 cases and, and be covered for a whole bunch of blasters just to ship off. That's how I get them. Now, most of you aren't going to obviously want to do that because the average collector doesn't rip open maybe 40 plus blasters. So I break them all up. I have all these boxes and I put them in these crush proof boxes and send them off to you guys. I appreciate your support. And by the way, that's the end of box number, um, where are we at? five so we have 10 silver packs now to open up one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so yeah 10 silver packs this will be the end of our break and then we'll continue to hang out here for the next 15 minutes or so and see if there's any other cards and um hopefully there is going to be some cards soon We'll see. These silver packs can be pretty nice. This is my favorite part of any jumbo break. I do love the jumbo packs because um, they put all the good stuff right in the middle and there's usually some short prints. We did pull quite a few short prints today. Maybe like, uh, I don't know, six, seven, eight short prints, but no super short prints. Now, these silver packs do typically have some good stuff in them. Um, I'm hoping we can find out of 10 packs, I'm honestly hoping for one autograph. Now, in the past... It's been roughly one autograph per 30 packs, but it seems like the jumbo silver packs have been very good to us these year. And by the way, every insert or parallel counts as hits. 
so all of these ship as well. And if we have some time here at the end of the last before nine, I'll just go back to making up my um, my packages that I've been making up for the youth softball teams with all the uh, the donated base from these breaks. Mickey Moniac right there. We've got a green coming up. It is going to be an Anthony Rendon. That's going to be numbered on the back. Numbered out of 99. Nice Anthony Rendon right there. Next pack up. Mitch White. Logan says, nothing. We got no cards today. Yes, nothing going on right now. Ryan Weathers and Fernando Tatis Jr. is the last one. Next pack up. Yeah, I've saved every hobby wrapper that I've opened up. And I'm trying to make it look as realistic as possible. And uh, maybe for you guys on Patreon, I'll do a Patreon-only video showing you the kiddos divvying those up and passing them out at youth uh, baseball games. There's Randy Arena Blue out of 150. That's with that promotional home run challenge card, which I just tossed into the trash. Chris grabbed an absolute blaster. Thanks for the link, he says. You're welcome. I, thanks, Jeff, for dropping that. So there, there are absolute blasters that are available, but they're on Kroger's website. So, I mean, you're going to have to set up a Kroger account. It's free shipping, $24.99, which is basically 20 bucks plus five shipping, which is fair. I haven't seen any of those absolute blasters yet, so honestly, I might go on over there and grab some as well right after this. I've never bought from Kroger before, so I'll have to make an account. There's Garrett Crochet, Tanner Houck, and Andy Young. Target, though, being uh, being a little bit uh, tough today. Jason is through a third-party seller. At least it's fair. We've got a gold foil coming up. Jeff says, Tops just sent him an email with more info on the Bowman Sapphire Lotto going on. You must be logged into your Tops.com account. A limit of one entry per customer, max of two boxes. The time of the sign-up has no bearing on your chances. Uh, raffle will close today at 9 a.m. And winners will be contacted by Tops. So if you'd like to get in on some Bowman Sapphire, Tops has a Lotto going on right now. Jeff posted the, uh, the instructions earlier. Nice Ronald Acuna Jr., out of 50, nice gold one right there. No target drops yet, nothing yet. We're still waiting. Still waiting on the cards to drop, and um, it's looking more and more like it's probably not going to happen. Like, maybe maybe we'll get lucky and something will come up, but my confidence is waning for sure. There's Ronald Acuna Jr. Again for the NL East. Two summer packs left. So we finish off our break for the morning. There's JT Rail Muto. Reggie Jackson. We've got Shirt and Apostle and Jack Flaherty. By the way, I just picked up a couple Flaherty Bowman Chrome first um, PSA 9s last night in a lot. Very nice ones right there. Last pack of the break, and then we'll hang out and chat for a little while until we throw in the towel. We've got Estevan Florial, Michael Conforto, Randy Johnson, and Ricky Henderson is the last card right there. So that'll wrap up the the break portion of this video. Thank you to our six participants. Um, in the meantime, we're just gonna hang out and wait for the cards to drop. Jason says, thank you, Jabs. I almost bid on those PSAs. Really? Did you saw that that lot last night? I forget what I paid for them. I tossed a high bid in there with three seconds left. I ended up getting them. It might've been 30 bucks or something like that. But um, yeah, I grabbed those two. I figured, PSA 9, Jack Flaherty, two of them, not too bad. I can maybe keep one for myself, use the other as a giveaway or something like that. Timmy T. Time says, Eric, if you still have those golf balls, I'll email you about a price. I'd like to get an entire tote off of you. I definitely have tons of golf balls. In fact, I'm dreading going out to my yard because uh, I haven't picked up the golf balls for like uh, over a week now. And there's probably several dozen in my grass. My grass is high and needs cut. It's going to be a lot of bending down and picking up with my bad back. Not a big fan of that, but... Better than I'm shooting out the lawnmower and, and little bits all over my lawn. So I'll have to do that. So sometimes I'd like to get my grass cut today because it gets to the point where I can't even cut it anymore when it gets too long. I typically like to go once a week, but we'll see. All right, so let's see. What am I going to work on now? 
continue to take your chats until around 8 a.m. I'm going to work on some of these. Bros Watching Train says, can't wait till next Friday. Taking my two boys to see Tatis and the Padres versus Phillies. Getting there early to watch BP. That's awesome, man. Yeah, B watching early in BP is definitely a great idea. I like that. So I'm making these packs up, by the way, for youth softball and baseball teams. Now that softball's over, it's going to be the youth baseball travel team getting all these packs. I think I'm going to do it like this. I already made a couple of these, but cut out the front and grab 14 cards from our break here. So Heather says, I think you should leave the back on. Why do you think that? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. So we'll give them these 14 cards here. Stick that in there, make it look like a real pack, right? For the kids. Now the the foils. Heather, are you saying I should just put it back into the pack so you can't see the back card? Well, I was figuring we would just pass them out like this. Like we'd have like a, a box of these and they can just grab them. Obviously, they can see who's on the back. Fran Mill Reyes. How would you do it, Heather? So you're saying leave the back on? Hector says you can just put the cards back. That's a little too much work. I'm trying to make as many of these packs as possible, as easy as possible. And then I was thinking, Heather, we could have Olivia and Robbie and Timmy uh, pass them out. To, there's like If there's playoff games, there's a lot of kiddos there. Let's give them some free cards. And also, if I end up doing that show, that Uniontown show, um, then... We could have these as freebies as well. Let's grab the next one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. MCB says you should print something out with the Jabs family also. Might drive some traffic. Yeah, that's a possibility. Could maybe get some extra subscribers from, which would be nice. Nathan, still no cards from Target's website, unfortunately. This is basically what we do when we do the, those. Um, it's the same idea when we do those set breaks. We break up this, that we buy a set of cards from like 19 whatever. And then we, I try to find a wrapper. Like a, I don't know, just a wrapper on an image of a wrapper, I print those out and try to make them look as legit as possible. Because obviously you can't find packs of anything from the f the 50s anymore, anything like that. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Um, Joe Menno says, can anyone else get the boat capture from tops so those darn boats sometimes those are really tough like i hate the crosswalk ones and i hate the traffic light ones because sometimes there's like a tiny little piece of a crosswalk in a certain box and it might not pop up on tops it's just really overall annoying jose says cut the bottom and the top and wrap the cards and place in a team bag that's another idea what happens here with these which made it a little difficult is these are a lot longer than a team bag so the team bags won't close MC says, I can make you something you can print in mass and be cut. I don't, that, that's okay. We don't need to make it that nice. I just, basically, I figured these were just going to go to like five, six, seven, eight, nine year old kids are just going to rip them open anyway, not really care too much about the wrapper. Now, if we were selling like a repack product or something like that, then I'd definitely be on board and getting with the UMCB and coming up with something. But these are going to be freebies. Like, like that says 14 cards on there, so they know how many they have coming to them. And he says, do you think today will be the last Target drop Friday from you? It was a fun way to start Friday morning, but Target's not been reliable. It, and I don't know. We'll see. We'll see what Target does. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. I would hope that they would um, do that. MCB says, I always think about it if you do the free show. Yeah, uh, we got an offer to do a free card show. Because uh, there's there's this card show at the mall, 
that I've featured in videos before, and it actually got a ton of views and drove a bunch of business to him, and he's forever grateful for it. And he said, anytime you want to come back, you and your brother, um, I got a card. Anytime you want to do a card show, uh, we got a spot for you, a table for you, so free of charge. So I was thinking about like taking a whole bunch of my 5,000 count boxes down, putting some team bags out, and just giving them, you know, one team bag per person. Per person, go through and pick out what you want, and take it for free. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. All right. Did I only have 12 in that pack? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. I'm trying to count and talk at the same time, so looks like some kid's going to maybe get shorted two cards. Hopefully I didn't. Ross, nothing has been dropped yet as of late. It was the last one. Okay, I'll grab that off the top here and fix it. Wow, you guys are on the ball watching everything. You've even got kind of the exact number of cards. Nice stuff right there. I guess also what I can do here is if this is getting a little tedious and boring for you, well, we have got a little bit of time left. I could probably sort today's break live right now for you guys. You can see all the hits. I think that's what we'll do. So if you, you missed the last hour and a half or so and didn't see the break, we'll go ahead and sort those cards out. And uh, this one, you said had 12. So I'm just going to throw two cards in there real quick and even it up. Next two cards off the stack. Marcel says, how can I get on that Sapphire Lottery? Jeff had the instructions there. You sign into your Tops account, and you scroll down to the bottom of the page. Look in the, in the uh, live chat. Scroll back about 10 minutes. Look for Jeff Becker's um, information there. He's got them for you. So I think we'll finish things off here. I, let's see. I don't have any supplies. I'm going to go and grab some supplies for sleeving and top loading, and uh, I will sort out the break right here that we did today as we await the Tops drop It'll probably take me like i don't know maybe another 10 15 minutes to sort this and you'll be able to see all the top cards that were pulled and then uh then we'll close up shop if it's not here so i've got my supplies actually they're in the kitchen so i was i'll tell you in a second i'm gonna be right back We got watch to be like the tops uh, drop right now, and I'm like getting supplies. So we got these. Now I need to run down and get my penny sleeves. I'll be right back. All right, hopefully there wasn't a, a drop or anything and I missed out on that 30 some seconds it took me, but I had to get some supplies here. We're gonna sort out today's break as we await the target drop. It is 8 a.m. So I am i don't know. I think there's a small chance, but it's getting ever, ever and ever smaller. So uh, here we go. I guess I'll just sleeve as we go along here. So let's see here. How do I want to do this? I guess I'm going to sleeve first and then sort. That'll just be a little bit easier. It's Conforto. It's hard looking at the uh, screen and sleeving at the same time.
Jeff, are you heading out for now? Jeff was said that he could be here until about eight. Probably have to get started on the uh, old work shift, I would imagine, at some point. Really disappointed that Target has not dropped anything at all today. No drop. Another day without a drop, Ronald. Yeah, nothing, nothing at all, unfortunately. You would think that it was a given that there was going to be a drop today. They didn't drop anything at all this entire week, which in the past, I mean, Jeff says, I'll linger for 10 minutes. That's just like how I'm feeling right now. Like, ah, I don't want to go off too early, just, just in case. It says, reminder, be sure you're receiving your tops emails. That's how you're you're going to get notified if you won. So if you're get, getting in on that Bowman Sapphire lot from Tops, make sure that you have those on. Brian says, where am I heading after this? I'm heading out to Walmart's to see if uh, there's going to be any cards in stock. Um, Slab with a tip says, hey, everybody, uh, check your local Walmart's today. Just saw an employee post a pic on Twitter of them stocking cards. Series 2 hangers and blasters as well as Absolute and Stadium Club. All right. So you might be able to find some Stadium Club and um, Absolute out there, which is going to be new to Walmart. We haven't seen those stocked at all yet. Thomas says, is Shy City still on your $51 tier? I'm not sure if he is or not. I haven't seen Shy City in a long time around here. He used to be a moderator in here and helping out. and But uh, yeah, I haven't seen him in a long time have to check that out for you usually um with the 51 dollars tier we just make up all the boxes uh, assembly line style and heather prints out the labels and we just slap them on there real quick four door says employees at his walmart buy all the good cards and sell them online that's a problem that definitely does happen for sure We're just sleeping right now, all of the parallels. So I sleeve up all the parallels. Stuff like this, that's the inserts I don't sleeve, these, these base insert cards. So we're gonna divide these up now into cards that need sleeved and cards that don't. Top rookies also get sleeved, so no, yes, no, no, yes. Yeah, David Garcia, that's a 70 years, that's a no, no. This is gonna need a special sleeve for that. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, no, no, yes, yes, that's numbered, yes, no, no, yes, 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 no, no, yes, 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 no, no, top load, different pile, yes, 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 no, no, yes, yes, key Brian Hayes, yes, Alec Bohm, yes, yes, so for, if, you're wondering, if you're just tuned in, we're sorting our breakout and we're awaiting just to see if there's going to be any more action or any action at all, I should say, on Target's website, which we haven't seen anything yet. Uh, Nick Madrigal, I like him enough to sleeve him up. Yeah, we definitely go through a ton of sleeves all the time. This is going to need a special sleeve. Keston, here's a short print that gets sleeved up. No, no, that needs top loaded. Sleeve, no sleeve, no sleeve, sleeved up, sleeve, 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 no sleeve, no sleeve. We're sending all the inserts just because there's people that put together those 86 sets and they do have some value to them. So definitely have to ship those out. These are all the cards that I consider hits. Any parallel insert or top rookie, that was it. Advanced stat that gets sleeved. No, no. Yes, yes, the sleeve pile is definitely bigger than the non-sleeve pile. Uh-oh, uh Walmart has a placeholder for Stadium Club Blasters. We might be getting some action finally. There's a placeholder that has been placed. Jeff has the uh, information right there. Placeholder just went up for Stadium Club Blasters. So look out. We may be awarded for not cutting out here too early. 
was really thinking about it there. So there's a link from Jeff. You want to click on that link right now. So if you just check out the live feed, if you're watching the comments, that's where you want to find that at. I'm going to head over to my own live stream here and get in on that, bring that up. I don't, I don't know what the, um, what the limit's going to be on, on, uh, on that, but we'll go ahead and check. Has it really been there for days? So it's not an, an imminent drop. I got excited there. I was hoping that was going to drop soon. That's a no, no, yes, yes. Sleeve, no, no. Sleeve, sleeve. Sleeve, no, sleeve, no. Sleeve, sleeve, no, no. This is all a little bit behind the scenes of the sorting process. The sleeving process obviously takes a long time. We go through a ton of sleeves with all the, the hits. Then you got to sort them out. The team breaks, guys, take forever. Like those random team breaks. I just finished the ones from uh, last week, last night. And uh, so those will be starting to go out here soon. That needs a special sleeve. No, no, yes, yes. So these are all the hits that we pulled today. Raphael Devers needs a top loader. Chris says, I really want to get some stadium club, but it's probably going to be sold out later today. It might be, but they sell them on their website. Top sells them on their website. You'll be able to find some there. And uh, they have a limit of two, so they don't sell out super fast, but they will sell out. I would guess about in an hour. Richard said it's 40 bucks, a good price for Stadium Club Blasters. Nah, $20 would be a good price. That's what they cost for in the store. What you're seeing there is you're seeing the early price. Whenever there's something new and it's fresh and everybody wants it, there's not a lot of supply and the prices get jacked up. That $40 price tag, that'll probably be down about $30 in a few days. So just wait. If you're going to be, if you have to buy on eBay, I know some people do. If you wait a little while, that's a nice one. That's definitely, that's, that goes in the, the top loader pile. Just wait. It will fall for sure. I, I remember when Top Series 2 came out a couple weeks ago. It was uh, it was like $35. At first, it was like $50 a box. Then it went to $35 a box. And now it's right around, I think, like $25 a box. And that's probably where it's going to settle in at when it's all said and done. So just... If you can be patient, try to be patient on those Stadium Club Blasters and also try to get some off Top's website. That's your best bet to get them for at face value if you don't have a Target or, well, not Target doesn't even count anymore, if you don't have a Walmart nearby. Stadium Club Chrome was a really nice product. Yeah, I did enjoy that one a lot. I, that'll likely be back this year. This is going to need a special sleeve because it's super thick. All right, so these are all the cards that I'm sleeving up, a whole bunch of them. Redbeard says, hey, Eric, from Bentleyville. I used to pass by your town all the time going to and from college on 70. Good old Bentleyville. All right, so we've got these divvied up. These are the base inserts. Back to sleeving. Lugo says, geez, those rookie patches are ugly. Yeah, I've never been a big fan of the rookie patch, manufacturer patches. They're pretty pretty rough to look at. Some people like them, though. Some people don't. I'm personally not a huge fan of them, but, you know. I think they're kind of cool with what they did with the blaster boxes this year, how they are now putting them inside of the packs. So it almost feels like you're pulling a hit, which is pretty cool. Unlike um, the other previous years where they were in that just random one card pack that was usually white or blue or black or something like that. Ike says, almost done with the 91 Upper Deck Jordan short print. I'm thinking about doing a series of iconic cards like Maguire. The 85 Maguire would be a good one. Definitely have to do... You know, you know what? Like, it's a huge project, but I think it would be cool if you did your own 70 years of tops and you did like the top card from each... Like the top image from each set, like maybe from uh, 52, obviously the mantle. 53, you can maybe do the Jackie Robinson or something like that. 54, Hank Aaron. 55, I, I don't know, maybe, uh, I would I would say the mantle again. I, I love that 55 tops card. Wait, no, mantle didn't have a 55 tops card. 56 is what I'm thinking of. 
55 was uh, Ted Williams, I think, wasn't Ted Williams in that one. Harmon Killebrew, rookie card, 55. Maybe I'm a bad uh, bad uh, person to say for that because I want to say Mantle for everything. 57, you could do like maybe like Brooks Robinson, rookie, or Frank Robinson, rookie. They both had rookies in that set. Don Drysdale. That could be kind of a cool idea. I don't know if um, you'd be allowed to use like the, the whole like uh, the design of the Topps card just because of copyright stuff, maybe. I don't know. But you could at least do the images, which would be really awesome. I think that would be a really cool thing. Like 87 tops, you could have Barry Bonds on there. That's who I would choose. Maybe like somehow incorporate like a wood background, but not like use the uh, not use the actual design. But people would still like see it automatically think, oh, 87 tops Bonds. Callie says, has anyone got cards? Well, today, there, there's been a little bit of a workaround to get some cards. If you want to get Absolute Blasters, they are available on Kroger's website. Uh, they made them live, and uh, they're $24.99 free shipping, which is actually a really good deal because I remember seeing those Absolute Blasters that last year for like 40 bucks was the resale on those last year. And I think it's just because it says guaranteed autograph or relic in every one. So everybody was like, wow, that's a pretty good, good thing. I'm, I'll pay for that. When in reality, those absolute blasters are much more like Topps Holiday in the fact that you're going to get a relic way more times than not. That's just the way it goes. Kroger is sold out. Dang it. Are you serious? I wanted to get some after this uh, <laughs> After this break. I was going to go on there and grab some of those... Uh, Absolute, because I haven't found any absolute blasters. I do want to open some up just to see what this year holds. But uh, so you, I guess we got word out here, and uh, most of you guys, or a lot of you guys at least, went over there and grabbed some. So I'm glad that you were able to get some for basically retail price. I mean, you factor in the shipping, you are getting them for retail price. How do you go about getting Sapphire? Well, if you missed out on the Montgomery Club drop and you missed out on the public offering, they have a lot of going on right now until 9 a.m. where you could possibly get some Sapphire boxes on Topps' website. And if uh, if Target doesn't drop any cards here within the next few minutes, don't give up. You can still have a shot at some cards from Topps' website directly from them. Andrew says, how do you feel about Cedric Mullins now? Yeah, uh, I'll tell you what, man. All those Cedric Mullins autos we were pulling was pretty crazy in 2019. There's like two Mullins per case. It got to be ridiculous. Remember how many Jordan Yamamoto's there were in 2020 products? Well, it was like 10 times worth with Cedric Mullins and Ryan O'Hearn in 2019. Just like so many of his autos, and then they were terrible, basically. Mullins was not hitting at all. And uh, now Mullins is like uh, one of the best players in baseball. With uh, good power numbers, great average. Did a target drop happen yet? We haven't seen anything drop yet. I just went on uh, Walmart's website. I do see they have that placeholder for the Stadium Club Blasters, which I'd like to grab some of those. Yeah, you never know who's going to be the next good rookie. That's why you should never... Uh... It's tough, though. It's tough to say you should never give up because there's probably going to be... 150 rookies or so all together in 2021 tops between the three series, series one, series two, and update. You'll probably have 150 rookies. How many of those guys are going to hit? A couple of them are going to hit and be really good uh, stars. Like you see it every year. Like if you think back to like uh, 2017, you think of like Judge and Bregman and uh, who else? Glass now and Bell. I mean, even like Bell, it's not that, that great anymore, but. Usually, like, there's, like, maybe, like, one or two big headliners from each year. 2018, of course, is so... 2018 was one of the better rookie classes with Soto and Acuna. Glaber is probably third, along with uh, Bieber and o Otani as well. I, I always forget about Otani because he just fell off the face of the earth, but Otani's got to be right up there with those guys as well. Raphael Devers is in there. 2018, a great rookie class. Jack Flaherty. 2019, a great rookie class as well with Vladdy. And obviously Pete Alonso and the big guy, Tatis, Alo Jimenez, Patrick Wisdom now coming up out of nowhere. Patrick Wisdom cards you could have got at the beginning of the season, probably in 10 cent bins. 
2020, you have Jordan Alvarez was kind of like the headlining guy. Yeah, Ozzy Albies was in there as well. Jay Weidman from 2018. Luis Robert kind of uh, took that over in Series 2. And now in 2021, it's debatable who the top rookie is. Some people would say Key Brian Hayes. Some people would still say Alec Bohm. Some people might say Mount Castle. Some people would say Casey Mize. Some people would say Jazz Chisholm. I don't think there's anyone that's uh, really taken off as the, the top guy. But uh, who knows? Maybe it'll be Jazz Chisholm. Maybe it'll be somebody like, uh, who knows? But it's tough to say, hold on to every rookie. But, I mean, if you hold on to every rookie, you're never going to fail in terms of uh, having that card when it's worth a bunch of money. Jake Cronenworth has been very, very good for the last two years. I don't know if Cronenworth is going to be like a major star. I mean, he's going to be an all-star, I think. But I don't know if he's going to be like an Acuna or Tatis type guy. But I kind of, uh, when I think of Cronenworth, I would think of uh, someone like Chase Utley. If he could have a Chase Utley type career, that would be pretty darn good. Max Pack says that he's sleeving up a few copies of every rookie card this season. Yeah, a lot of people are doing that now because you just never know. I mean, even if you go back to 2020, look at guys like um, Randy Rosarena was a nobody and Kyle Lewis was a nobody. And then their cards just went crazy once they got hot. Ike's got a link to his newest work, the Michael Jordan, if you want to check that out. Adolis Garcia is a guy that still has a lot of... A lot under the radar for most people. Adolis Garcia from the Texas Rangers has 20 home runs. And for a while there, he was leading the league in home runs. Leading the, the, the majors in home runs, actually. So that's another name that um, if you have... I remember pulling his autographs and they were worth nothing. Back in like... Was that... Tw I think that was 2019, Series 1. So you never know. Typically, position player rookie cards are better to hold than... Pitchers, position player rookies are usually worth more. And um, I don't know, it just seems like position players would be better to, to hold. Like Joe Adele, for example. Some people are throwing in the towel on Joe Adele already because he didn't break camp with the big leagues. Had kind of a crappy 2020 season. I think Joe Adele is going to be a decent hold. Maybe an, even a nice buy low candidate. His card's dropped. And then every now and then you get a player that uh, breaks on to the scene really big like Aristides Aquino, and then his cards just drop off the face of the earth. You might remember Aquino set the rookie home run record for most home runs in a month, came in in August of 2019 and matched like 13-plus home runs. All his cards went to the moon, and now they're, they fell flat. Backspack says, I think everyone has already given up on Joe Adele and Kyle Lewis, especially Lewis, who won the rookie of the year. Yeah, Kyle Lewis' cards have been dropping fast. Kyle Lewis has chronic knee issues he's had him his entire career since like 2016 i hope that he can get back and be healthy again because uh kyle is a fun guy to watch i personally don't this is a top load card by the way um i personally think that i don't know when i was looking at kyle lewis when he was hitting like 350 in 2020 there the early part i I was like, how is this guy going to hit 350 the whole season? If you look at all of his minor league stats, he, he's like a 260 hitter. And that's exactly what he finished up at. But still, he had a lot of hype around him. His autographs were selling for hundreds of dollars. This Mo is a top load card as well. That's just a sweet card. It's probably like 20 bucks. That's one of the better short print cards. 2022 will be headlined by Wander Franco for sure. All right. It's a good tip there, Light Seeker. I've got special um, sleeves for the the Vladdy. Where is it? I've got the uh, I've got the thick card sleeves for those uh, the autographed uh, thicker ones to make sure we don't damage those. So all right, I got all the cards sleeved up. Now I have to do the hits and I have to top load them. So where's my top loaders? What do we got here? Eight nineteen. We'll probably hang out a few more minutes. Good old Ultra Pro is the way to go. What top loaders do you guys use? I prefer Ultra Pro sleeves and Ultra Pro um, everything, to be honest with you. Although you probably just saw my BCW and thought, wow, what are you doing with BCW if you're an Ultra Pro guy? Well, uh, I don't know. I, just, I think I found a special on those or something like that. 
Ultra Pro, the only way to go is Max Pack. Yeah, unless you're paying like uh, $8 per um, top loader. In that case, you got an issue. Now, a thick card like this, yeah, there's no way that's fitting into a penny sleeve. So we got to break out the, the uh, what did I just do with those BCW Ultra Thick Sleeves? There they are. Jeff says, happy card hunting today, everyone. Also, good luck to the participants in the Tops Lotto. Yes, I hope you guys get in on that and uh, maybe get yourself a, uh, a free box of Sapphire. Got this bad boy and fitting that sleeve now. Spencer Howard. Usually I don't even sleeve these bad boys up because they're not really worth anything, but I guess we'll do it for you guys. Top, well, there's so many different uh, sizes of the, the relics that it's kind of tough to say what size you use. Like every size, like this is, I don't know, that might be like one, 135, 155, something like that. This one's probably more like, uh, I don't know. I don't think I have my, my I don't have my thick top loaders nearby, but at least it can get sleeved up for you. Raphael Devers is going to be a standard top loader card. Very nice card. The, uh, whoops, put that in the thick sleeve. That's the problem when you have too many sleeves going on everywhere. Does anyone know what day Barnes & Noble stocks cards? Around here, it's been random. It's just been like the lady puts them out when they run out occasionally it's been during the week and it's also been on friday i i don't know i haven't i haven't nailed that down yet in my neck of the woods still nothing from uh target.com unfortunately and we're getting a little bit late here in the day what, what time is it now it's 8 22 and still nothing are we still at 1 22 yeah, still waiting on cards. I was originally thinking that we had an 80% chance that uh, we would find some cards today. Now it's, I'm down to like, I don't, I'm like 10% on Target's website that we'll find cards. I think we'll be able to find cards on Top's website today, but probably not Target. Romy says, don't try calling Barnes & Noble. You tried to call and ask if they had cards and they wouldn't discuss it with you. That's kind of terrible. Yeah, Bo Burrows, the throw-up dude on the mound the other day. Poor Bo Burrows. That's going to follow him around the rest of his career as a, a low light. I'm sure that's going to get played in some stadiums that uh, some visiting stadiums he's on the mound. Now pitching for the Tigers, Bo Burrows. They just cut to that scene. Poor guy. These ones I like a little. I don't like manufactured patches, but I do like those ones better than the, uh, the like the seventy year patch ones. They're kind of just I don't know, maybe they're just a little bit cooler. Still not cool, but they're just a tad bit cooler. All right, so we've got our break all protected up now from today. So that's good that that's done while we're waiting. One less thing to do later on. Now we just have to sort them all out by division and uh, get them into team bags and put on the shelf awaiting shipment. So this was a divisional break. Let's divvy them up. So these are the inserts that... Oh, man, my back's starting to hurt just a little bit from stretching a little bit. Uh, Rangers would go here. How can I do this so we can see them on the screen a little bit better? I guess we'll go with NL on the bottom, AL on the top. That works a little bit better. Pirates, Mets, Twins, Cubbies, Phillies, Red Sox. So we've got the AL East, Central, and West, and the NL East, Central, and West, as we see if we can find any more cards here. Royals go up there, Nationals over here, Astros, Rays. What's this? This is the cards. Now, the Nationals will be over here. 
It says the Expos, they would go there as well. Rex says, I moved recently and my PayPal address isn't up to date. I typically use your Patreon stuff for that. The only time I go to your PayPal address on the payment is when uh, you are you don't have a monthly package. I like to send it um, with your monthly packages just to save some time. So I think you'll be okay. But thanks for letting me know. Phillies is the East. Who we got here? Juan Soto, who's the East? The Braves are the East. Giants, now that's the New York Giants. They go to the San Francisco Giants. Derek Jeter's AL. Jacob DeGrom. There's a Soto. Marcelo Zuna, who we got there? Washington Nationals. East getting a lot. Astros over here. Astros over here. DH debuts. Mets. Clayton Kershaw. Astros up here. We've got Tatis right there. There's Hank Aaron. These were all the hits from earlier today. Chipper Jones right there. Indians. Mikey says, did you crumple John's cards when you were a kid? I can't remember what we did when we were kids. When we were eight, nine years old, lots of cards got damaged for sure. There's a... Cubs card right there, Boston Red Sox card right there, Yankees card. We used to play with the cards. Uh, like, we would throw them. I think my dad called it rounders. So you'd set up cards, like, like vertically against a wall, and then you would take some cards and you'd throw them at them, like, as fast as you could. And the goal was to knock them down. And uh, I guess it was whoever knocked down the last card got all of the cards, but the thing was, all of the cards were basically, uh, at least the cards that were thrown were completely ruined because they had dented corners and stuff like that. I think my dad taught us that game. That kind of explains why his collection looks like it does. A lot of the cards, obviously, with really rounded corners. I think my dad said he he, he swears that he had like a 52-53 mantle, and he lost it in a game of rounders. But a lot of times, I would just be like, hey, let's just use your cards for this game. <laughs> and we'd end up using his cards. There's a Tyler Glass now. That's East, Phillies, Dodgers. Red Sox, Red Sox, White Sox, Angels, Mariners, Tigers. Athletics. It's kind of tough to sort around a camera here. So if you're like, why are you going so slow? Well, I don't want to make a mistake, and also it's tough to look around the camera and place these. The Brew Crew, NL Central. I've got to straighten these up. Target did not drop anything at all, unfortunately, today. Kroger dropped some stuff. They're sold out now, so Kroger had the absolute blasters. Those are now gone, so if you missed out on those, I do apologize. So those are all of our inserts. Now we have to do the... Um, the sleeve card, all these parallels also get shipped. And we'll shuffle through each one of these stacks at the end to make sure we didn't make any errors. Brett says, did Target stop selling cards um, online? I don't know what's the deal. With, I almost made an error there. I was reading the, reading the chat. I sure hope not. We will We'll just have to see what the trend is. We're just trying to learn from what we see, what they're doing. For a while there, we thought we had it figured out with them dropping cards at the same time every week, but now they're, they started to be unpredictable last week, and now they're just being super unpredictable. No cards at all this week? Like, what's up with that? Come on, Target. It's kind of really uh, annoying. Uh, Bax Pack says, where can you find my P.O. Box address? I've got it right here, actually. It's just kind of like a little information card. It's P.O. Box 402, Pleasant Unity, PA 15676. Thank you very much. If you're planning on donating to the, to the 95K giveaway, that'll be probably coming up soon. Within Maybe the next week, we'll at least release the cards that we're going to be giving away. Let's show you what's coming up. Well, my goal is to maybe have these all sorted out by tonight. I don't know if I'll get them finished right now because it's like 8.30 and we still haven't found any cards at all. Brian says, my dad hated the Yankees so much that they became a permanent park of, part of his bicycle spokes. That's pretty crazy. He probably had quite a lot of uh, dollars of great cards destroyed on those bicycle spokes, I would imagine, with all the high-value Yankee cards. 
definitely, uh, definitely a lot of kids destroyed cards in that fashion. Thank you very much for the super chat. My dad also, all, all the kids put cards on their spokes, I guess, back in the 50s. That was the thing to do. I guess it made a really cool flapping sound. And um, nowadays, you know, even when I was a kid, cards were worth something with the Beckett price guide. So nobody ever did that. My mom said that she used to buy cards, packs of Topps baseball cards. And I was like, what? And she's like, yeah, I would just get the gum and I'd throw the cards away. So I was like, oh, man, you got to be kidding me. That was like the worst thing ever for like a 10-year-old to hear. It's like you probably threw away so many. Uh, there's an error right there that goes up there. You probably threw away so many um, Clementes and all the other ones. I was just like floored that she would do that. All right, I think I'll finish off this stack right here and then we'll probably get on out of here. This is the division break from today. I'm just, I figured I would sort it just in case there's a drop, we'd let you guys know. But my confidence of there being a drop today is now falling below 5%, which is means it's now time for me to go get ready, head on out to some local stores, some physical storefronts and see if we can get lucky out at uh, maybe some Walmart and stuff like that because it's just not, Seems like it's not happening online today. I apologize to everyone that popped in here early expecting cards. I expected cards. I think most people in the hobby expected cards to drop today, but Target, for whatever reason, is uh, playing games with us. So who knows? Maybe they'll drop them later today. Maybe they got complaints from the folks on the West Coast, and uh, they're trying to accommodate them by dropping them later. I do not know. So... We're going to wrap it up right there. I'll finish sorting these cards a little bit later today, maybe after lunch or so. And um, we'll be back live tonight with Stadium Club Hobby Boxes. we got a bunch of those to rip, so I hope you'll be able to tune in tonight around like 8 p.m. We'll go live between 8 and 9 p.m., ripping a bunch of boxes of those. And I'll have a preview video sometime this afternoon once I get my cases. So that's it for this morning. Thank you very much for watching, everybody. Really appreciate you guys hanging out. I hope you guys have a great Friday, and I hope to see you later tonight. Good night, everybody. Or wait, good morning, everybody. <laughs>